Hi, in this video we'll show you how to use the content controller and the rows controller uh, in a nested overview. So in this case we are selling cars and if uh, the, for every car that we want to sell we want to repeat this entire block of information. Now a car has a certain option families, option packs that they can sell. So for every option pack we want to actually repeat this entire set of information. And of course, an option pack has options. So we want to repeat for every option in the pack, these two rows. So why two rows? Because otherwise you don't have to uh, use a rows controller, but you can just use uh, a table row config type. Okay, now we have to build nested content controllers to make sure that these uh, items are correctly repeated. So first of all, I'm going to create a content controller uh, to capture all of this information. So I'm just going to add it like this. And maybe I'll also add uh, properties. I'll also add a description. Car detail. OK, so that it's easier to see. Now, um, for every option pack, I want to repeat this. So I'm just selecting this, uh, this, this section. I'm indicate that it's a, a section controller, uh, that it's managed by a section controller. And again, here, I'm going to set the properties. I'm going to say uh, option pack. This is not required. The title is just to have an, uh, an easy overview. So, and then uh, last but not least, I want to actually add all the options or repeat all the options linked to these packs. So I'm going to re, uh, add one more content controller for these two rows. So this content controller captures captures uh, two rows for, because we want for every option to show two rows in this demo. And then the same thing here. I'm going to add a property and I'm going to say option. Okay, let's uh, save this document. I'm going to copy the entire path to this document and then I will let's go to the configuration. So the configuration of this, uh, I've already prepared all the data sources. If you want to read up on uh, data sources, we call these nested data sources and you can find more information on nested data sources in our academy. So just uh, search for nested here and you will find this uh, interesting video on nested data sources. I'm going to Upload my file, of course. So that's the file that I just copied. Okay. And then I'm going to start adding config types. The first config type I need to add is, of course, to identify our, um, our content controller, uh, to repeat for every car. So that's the outer, outermost outer content controller. I'm going to make this of type content controller. The data source is our uh, top data source here. So that's the car main line items. Uh, car main line items, the merge field I just copied. And I want to put in a merge field action. I want to say I'm going to remove the entire, uh, the entire paragraph because I don't need that merge field anymore. Okay, so let's add a few uh, config types here to fill in some data. Let's say that we want to fill in the, uh, the product name. So I just copy over the product name. Um, then this is the product name. Yeah, okay. Fill this in. And uh, let's do one more product line item. And of course, at the end of the video, I will complete everything, but that's not the main issue for uh, the main uh, topic to, to watch me create a single line items. So we have a product line item. Let's do the uh, um, product description, this one. Okay. And then that's that. So next up is we're going to now start repeating these option packs for every, um, yeah, for every option pack linked to that, uh, to, to that car. So we have a second level of data sources here, the option families, and that's one, the one we're going to use to actually start repeating all the option families or option packs, whatever you want to call it, uh, for every uh, link to these cars. So same thing here. I'm gonna just going to put in the uh, um, content and then the name of the merge field. This is going to be, again, a content controller. 
we are not going to use the parent data source. We're going to use the option families data source. And then we're going to say merge field is this. And we're not going to remove this merge field because we actually want to reuse it. So we're going to reuse the merge field to fill in the option family. So that's the family. And then this is the option family. OK, perfect. So that's what we are doing now. Uh, repeating the option family and last but not least we're going to repeat of course also this uh, um, these two rows so that's a rows controller instead of a uh, content controller and now let's also finish that configuration so under the option family i'm again going to make a child config type going to call it rows option Okay, it's not a parent data source, it's the car option line items that I'm gonna uh, have to use for now. So let's say change this to rows controller. The car option, uh, car uh, option line items, this is the data source I need, and then put in the option name. Okay, so now let's also create a child here to fill in the option name. Let's fill in the uh, Product to name, that's the one I was looking for. Okay, let's go and get one more merge field. So let's do the uh, option quantity here. I'm gonna copy that one over and then create another child a config type uh, of type single. Yes, and that's then the quantity. Yeah, perfect, the quantity and the merge fields. Okay, cool, that should be it. Save the server. Yeah, no errors, so everything looks fine. Let's uh, try to generate this and see if the uh, setup already does what it needs to do. And then the next step can be, of course, adding all of the config types that we need to fill in all the data. OK, so this is the document already generated. So I see indeed that it does uh, the Model S. So that's my first car. My second car, I see it's looking good. All of my information is there. It's repeating everything nicely. So now I can start completing this uh, this overview. It, uh, it's working perfectly and it looks like uh, yeah, a success. So let's complete it and then we can uh, have all the fields and the pictures in there. So what else do we need? Um, let's start maybe with the, uh, the picture here. So that's the car picture. And this one has to be done under the uh, the car detail, so that should show also this one. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's the data source. Um, okay, it's this. I have to make it a child of the config type, of course. So it's of type picture, as you would expect. And there is only one data source with pictures, so it selects the correct one. OK, car picture, and then I want to set a ratio. So I want the width to be fixed, and then the height will be uh, scaled automatically. OK, what else was there? We have a product description. So we're going to add this uh, as well on this level. Uh, that's the description here. OK, then we have, um, we have done these two. So we just need the option price. OK, and this is going to be a child of the option, of course, that we are repeating. OK, option price. That's the, uh, oh, let's see, the unit price. OK, option price. And then I think it's we're already, no, we have to do two more fields. So this is the one but last. Up total option total, so that's the total price. Okay, and then there is one more field at the bottom. That's the total price of our car. So that's again a child of our top level config type. Okay, this one total price, and there's gonna be a total price field. Perfect. Okay, save the server. Let's take a look when I regenerate. I should see my pictures. I should see all my data fields. And that's exactly what I want, was expecting. So looking good. Um, what we now can do maybe is make sure that every car sits on a new page. So we can go back to our uh, car detail content controller. And we say that maybe we want to have mm, a doubles, sorry, a page break 
in between every content controller. And in between of the option families, I want some uh, I want some less space because there was uh, there was some uh, big spaces here. So I'm gonna do less space there, and that's where I'm gonna select here a single spacing. Okay, that looks good. Save to server. Okay, let's regenerate this. And that's it. So now these ones are much closer to each other. And we see that nicely the cars are split over the different pages. So yeah, overall looking uh, very good. And yeah, just by creating some content controllers and rows controllers, we now can do multi multiple levels of uh, repeating blocks of data, uh, repeating data sources, nested data sources, and have a uh, great result that, uh, as you can see in the generation performance, Ex, ex, uh, extremely fast.